On today's spooky spot at the movies, this is a request that was made to me. Somebody asked me if I could review Stephen King's It. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're reviewing the DVD version of Stephen King's It. By the way, this review will consist of spoilers. I'm not going to hold back on giving my opinions of the movie. So if you have not seen the movie, either plug your ears and maybe you still watch my hands moving around or don't watch this movie because I will I will give out spoilers of the movie. Stephen King's It from 1990. Um, pretty ensemble cast as well. We've got like Harry Anderson from Night Court. Of course my man, he's not my man, but one of my favorite actors growing up. John Ritter. We've got a Netto Tool. Tim Reed. We've got an, quite the quite the cast. We've got this guy too. I can never remember the guy's name. Somebody's going to tell me down below. Uh, Richard Massour, I think his name is. I always remember him from the Boogity series, the Boogity Man and Bride of Boogity. And of course, we can't forget the star of the movie. We've got Tim Curry as Pennywise the Clown. If you didn't have a reason to be fearful of clowns before, no doubt once you finish watching this movie, you're going to be terrified of clowns. He is quite scary as a clown. Um, this was not released theatrically. This was actually a miniseries um, back in the day when Stephen King used to do miniseries. And he was successful, I think, up to Langoliers. I, I thought Langoliers was terrible. Uh, but Stephen King's It was a, I think it was a five-parter. I'm trying to remember here, 187 minutes. I believe it was a five-parter. It was a week-long miniseries. And uh, a, a great movie. Um, one of which, actually, I, I remember watching this when I was in 1990, whatever age I was. I do actually remember watching this with my parents. Ironically, my parents actually don't like horror movies, so I was surprised that they actually watched it. But again, it's a TV movie, so it's certainly not the, you know, it's not a gore fest, but it certainly does have its fair share of jumps. Um, the premise of this movie is the fact that we've got uh, the seven, I believe there was seven, yes, the seven friends. Um, of different backgrounds who, as children, band together to defeat a evil spirit, or I guess an evil creature, that they have called It. There's Pennywise the Clown there. Pennywise the Clown actually was a shape-shifting creature who most of the time took the appearance of a clown. Um, and then back in the day, when these these adults here were their children when they were children. Pennywise would actually catch and kill uh, little children, which was actually very different than probably what you would normally expect. Um, like, it wasn't so much that he took children. He took lots of people, and he would keep them in his lair. Um, but he they really established the fact that, you know, if Pennywise caught, there was like a girl, for example, in by the uh, hanging laundry, and, you know, the mother couldn't find her, Pennywise got to her, and even though you don't see it, you know, you know that he did something quite graphic to the child. Um, it, it, but a very good, solid movie. Uh, an interesting, quick story about it is that actually me and my wife just recently watched this. And she had never seen it before. And I said, you've never seen it before. I had to actually sit down for a moment and actually contemplate the fact that my wife had never seen it. Probably one of better, one of Stephen King's better movies. Um, so we actually sat down and watched it. If I just open up the DVD for a second, the interesting aspect of it is that there is a side A and there is also a side B. Now, granted, if you didn't look at this, which leads me into my story here, if you actually didn't look, if you didn't read the index and strictly went from the outside of the box, it gives no indication that there is a side A and a side B. So what, what ended up happening, you might ask? Well, what we ended up happening, what, what ended up happening was we popped the DVD in 
<laughs> and we actually watched side B from start to finish. Normally, most movies, there is an obvious point where you start watching the movie, and if you didn't watch it from the beginning, it, it's clearly evident right from the beginning that you're you're not at the beginning of the movie. And, and had it just been a regular movie, I probably would have said, hey, wait a minute, that... We, we started this in the wrong place. Where it unfortunately happens, though, is that side A, the majority of the first side of the disc, deals solely with the, with the adults as children. The whole side A. By the time we actually get to side B, it's, it's when the parents are actually starting to meet back after all the years that they've been apart. So while it may seem silly enough, you could actually watch Side B and still get the full gist of it. It wasn't, while, while we were watching Side B, I actually said to my wife, you know, this is quite strange because I remember there being more to the movie than just this. And she said, you know what, I'm not really getting into this movie. We watched the full Side B, we watched the credits, we watched everything else. And then it wasn't until I f looked back in the cover and I flipped the disc over that I realized we actually had not watched side A so I actually went back watched side A again isn't that remarkable so at any rate again the premise is we've got the children here um, experiencing I guess they're being scared by Pennywise Pennywise is haunting them each individually here um, and the idea is, through, I guess, some luck, uh, these children, who are kind of a ragtag bunch of losers, they all kind of join together and become a, a group, and they become the best of friends. And then as years later come, uh, we've got Tim Reed here, which I can't, unfortunately, remember the act, uh, what character he plays. Uh, no, it actually doesn't say, but it does say 30 years later. Uh, Tim Reed actually realizes that the murders are starting up again uh, from Pennywise the Clown, who they actually believed they had killed when they were children. So then Tim Reed proceeds to call back all the friends, now 30 years later, and they come back to the town where they first confronted Pennywise the Clown. And they... They, uh, they band together once again to take on the evil clown, Pennywise. That pretty much is the premise of the movie. Um, the acting is pretty solid all across the board. The one I'm really not a fan of is Harry Anderson. I understand a lot of it really relied on writing, but there's something about Harry Anderson's performance in the movie that it is extremely annoying. And I'm sure again, it's his, it's the character that he's supposed to portray, portray. But I really wasn't a fan of his acting whatsoever in the movie. Uh, John Ritter and Annette O'Toole, very solid. Um, John Boy from, uh, I can't remember the name of the show, but I think his name is, is it Dennis Christopher? I believe it's Dennis Christopher from the Waltons. There we go. Um, he puts on a pretty solid performance as well, um, but I mean, really, the aside from the the ensemble cast, the real one that makes the movie is Tim Curry. Um, it's remarkable how terrifying he can be for a clown. For a movie, well, we are getting into what twenty years now since the movie has come out, um, and and really to this day, this uh, this movie holds up pretty well. To watch it now versus watching it in nineteen ninety, I would say I'm I'm just as scared by Pennywise's, uh, or by Tim Curry's performance, um, as I did when I first watched this on TV. Um, this movie actually holds up really, really well. Um, the only thing I think that doesn't hold up well, and this is where the spoilers will come in, is the very end of the movie. Um, I mentioned that Pennywise the Clown, of course, was a shapeshifter. He could turn into a clown, which was majority, most of the time, which was the character that he was in the movie, was the evil clown. Um, but they, they hint at the fact that Pennywise, in order for him to eat, he probably has to take on a, a physical form. Um, unfortunately, though, this is where the movie kind of, 
I think kind of loses some of the steam is at the very end of the movie. Uh, the movie does very well at building up climax, building up attention to when these friends eventually come back together uh, and they become a group once again to take on Pennywise the Clown. And at the very end, they get down into his lair, uh, deep, I guess, in the sewer area, and we learn that Pennywise is not so much a clown, but a giant spider. And it's a giant spider that's, that's been taking out some of his victims and wrapping them up and, and I guess, storing them for, uh, I guess, during his hibernation, the idea that he would hibernate away and then come back. Um, but I think the, the real disappointing part of the movie is the fact that you see way too much of Pennywise as the spider. Uh, so much so that even when the, the actors are fighting this giant uh, prop spider, um, it, it just looks like a big plastic prop. Um, I, I think they relied on stop motion for the actual moving of the spider, which again looks out of place, I think, from the rest of the the, uh, the actual background. But then when they fight it up close, it, it just looks like a plastic spider with strings kind of holding the legs and the arms up. And I would say really that's the only disappointing part of the movie. But Tim Curry's performance is, is terrifying. Um... I mean, he's got that real solid kind of voice that just kind of gets into you, like when you hear him talk. And he says, they float, they float. You probably don't know if you haven't seen the movie, but um, a great cast. I would almost say, and this is probably where I'm going to get comments down below for it. It's one of those movies that I think really kind of deserves a remake. And I know I threw out the dreaded R word, but... Um, the way they, they can make a movie now and the way that they could probably do this as a, another uh, made-for-TV movie, um, special effects-wise, they could probably make the spider look a lot scarier than, than it was in this original version. I mean, nothing will certainly beat this classic, but I would like to see them maybe take another stab at doing it. And, of course, have different actors in, in the... Uh, in the roles of the children and, and, and the adults as well. Um, maybe, as a homage, they could bring back Tim Curry. As far as I know, I think Tim Curry is still alive. But uh, I'd bring him back, maybe, and reprise his role of Pennywise. Or maybe get an actor that's gotten that got that same similar um, uh, acting performance that could really give a, a, a depth, in-depth um, feeling you know, of, of the clown character. Um, I can't really think of any actor who could do a better job than Tim Curry. I mean, if anyone can think of one down below, do let me know. Um, but I would say, if you haven't watched it, I've spoiled the movie, I'm sure, already. But if you haven't watched it, do check out It. If you have seen It, you know that this is a classic to watch. It is long, being that it is a miniseries. I don't think it's as long as The Stand. The Stand is in incredibly long. But if you can sit down and... and and afford 187 minutes, uh, the, the it is definitely worth watching. But uh, definitely learn from this guy. <laughs> Watch both sides. Watch part A before watching part B. The movie will probably make a lot more sense than uh, what it did when I just watched it. But a great movie. I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I know I haven't really given much ratings this this month for October, but uh, for a movie such as it, I definitely want to give it a rating. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. So today's spooky spot at the movies, as a request to me, today I was looking at Stephen King's It. A great cast, good solid writing, and a movie, aside really from the spider part of the ending, a movie that still holds up today to watch. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. They freed out.